Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. We're going to be going over some of the performance numbers on the 2022 Hyundai Elantra N as well as some of its competitors being the Civic Type R, the WRX STI, the Golf GTI, and the Jetta GLI. Now, a lot of people, not everyone, tend to compare vehicles how fast they are based on what they run in the quarter mile. Now, this doesn't mean that these times make any one vehicle better than any of the rest, but for today's video, we're going to use that as one of the main factors to compare these cars. Now, before I start showing all the numbers on your screen, keep in mind that the figures I came up with are not going to be 100% accurate but they are going to be very close and good enough for this comparison. Also, just wanted to let you guys know, I have many more videos planned to put out there for you guys in the near future, so please stay tuned for more content. With that being said, let's start off with the 2022 Elantra N. Now, if you haven't seen my last video, I was able to share some of the footage making some of its first recorded runs at a quarter mile drag strip. As you can see, it's making some impressive runs without even using its full potential with the NGS button on the DCT model, which does give it an extra 10 horsepower for 20 seconds, pushing it from 276 to 286 horsepower. So let's talk about some of the numbers for the 22 Elantra N. All right, so let's look at some of the numbers for the 22 Elantra N. Starting at right around 34,000, that's an average price between the manual and the DCT models. 276 horsepower for both models, but if you get the DCT, you do get the NGS button, giving it an extra 10 horsepower. Uh, the zero to 60, very impressive 5.0 seconds tested by a lot of different reviewers. Um, and it seems to be very accurate based on what I've seen. Doesn't mean it's 100% accurate, but surely seems to be the right number out there so far. Now, as far as the quarter mile goes, we do have a 13.3. Seems to be a pretty consistent number based on the couple of runs we saw um, from our friend David who gave us those runs. And I honestly think it could be better. Um, I mean, it's just the first couple times it's been ran. We don't know what the conditions were. We haven't done more testing with the launch control, but I would just like to see more testing being done to see what its true full potential actually is. All right, moving right on to the 21 Civic Type R. Uh, this one starts at 39,000, but it seems like it's unlikely to get it at that price from what I've looked into. Um, you might find your dealerships that'll sell it to you without a markup, but it seems like it's pretty tough to find one. Um, they're also the most expensive vehicle in this comparison. Uh, 306 horsepower, 5.10 to 60. Again, very impressive. Um, the quarter mile, 12.7 seconds. Both the zero to 16 quarter mile times uh, seem a little bit hard to confirm, um, but again, correct me in the comments, tell me where I got this wrong, but this is just off of the knowledge that I've looked into. Uh, with that being said, this is the fastest on the quarter mile compared to all these other vehicles that we're showcasing today, um, and also one of the most impressive zero to 60 times on any of these vehicles. Next up, we got the 21 WRX STI. This one starts at 38,000, 310 horsepower, the best zero to 60 out of any of these vehicles at 4.6 seconds. Also the quarter mile time, extremely impressive at 13.2 seconds. I also decided to keep the STI on this list rather than just a normal WRX. I felt that this vehicle was more of a direct comparison and performance to the rest of the vehicles on here. With that being said, also the 2022 WRX STI is not going to exist. Just from recent news, we found out that the STI is no longer going to be in their gas lineup. So it seems like they're going to be pushing that vehicle to be a, probably a featured vehicle in their new EV lineup coming soon. All right, our next vehicle here is a 22 Golf GTI. First, starting with the price, it starts at only $30,000, which is the most affordable out of any of these vehicles that we're going over. 241 horsepower, 5.1 second, zero to 60 time. 13.6 quarter mile, which is dang impressive in my opinion, especially considering this vehicle only has 241 horsepower. And it's getting a 5.1 second, zero to 60 time. This thing must just be engineered very, very well by Volkswagen, so props to them for that. I also felt that the GTI was a better fit on this list rather than the Golf R. The R is just way more expensive compared to any of the other vehicles that we're comparing here today. 
All right, and on to the final one we're comparing here today is the 2022 Jetta GLI. This one starts at 32 grand, 228 horsepower, 6.1 second, zero to 60 time, and a 14.6 quarter mile. Now the Jetta GLI and the Golf GTI are two totally different vehicles. However, when it comes to performance, you're paying more for the Jetta and getting less performance. Where the Golf GTI would be a much better choice if you're strictly looking for something that's going to outperform the other vehicle. So just to give you a quick list of the quarter mile times, you can see the Type R is taking the crown here at a 12.2 second quarter mile, going down to the Jetta GLI at a 14.6 quarter mile, which still isn't too shabby. Then we got our Elantra here, right in the middle at 13.3. But again, uh, maybe we give it some more time, give it some more testing and see if it can actually get a little bit faster than that. Uh, but nonetheless, still pretty impressed with that time compared to the other vehicles in this class. So now we've seen the numbers, we know what they run in the quarter mile. I wanna know from you guys, what kind of vehicle out there can you buy at a dealership that's less than $35,000, that's faster than the Elantra N, that's faster than the Golf GTI, that matches up with the STI or the Type R? I wanna hear from you guys, because I feel like there's not many other competitors out there, and I feel like all these vehicles, especially the Elantra N, holds great value and great performance for the price. Well, that'll do it for today, guys. That's my thoughts and opinions on the vehicles that we compared today. I want to know your thoughts. Please comment below. Tell me what you think. Uh, please like and subscribe if you can. I'll be putting out more content here shortly. And I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a great day.